What is up, Coratix? In this video, I'm going to be discussing the top 10 fastest boats in GT Online for 2023 in terms of top speed. Now, in the last video, we did top 10 fastest helicopters, and a lot of you guys wanted to see me make a video on the top 10 fastest boats as well. Now, these top speeds are chosen based on Bruffy 132's accurate top speed testing in a controlled environment for every single boat, which is honestly the best way to accurately compare these top speeds. I will leave a link to his channel down below if you haven't subscribed to him, and you really should subscribe to him. He is undoubtedly the king of car testing for GTA by far. Also, keep in mind that currently in GTA Online, we cannot customize boats, so these are all Pegasus vehicles with no customization. But anyways, let's get into it. Starting off with number 10, we have the Lampadati Toro. So this one released with the Ilgan Gains Part 2 update in 2015, and has a price of 1.75 million, and a top speed of 50.25 miles per hour. A lot of players assume this boat is fast based on the price and the way it looks, but that's simply not the case. It does look really nice, don't get me wrong, but again, it's not a fast boat. <laughs> Moving on to number 9, we have the Shih Tzu Sun Trap. So this one has a normal price of about 25000 so very cheap since it's an OG boat, and has a top speed of exactly 51 miles an hour, a pretty average boat, nothing really too crazy or different about it. Continuing to number 8, we have the Shih Tzu Tropic. So this one has a price of only 22000 again very cheap because it's an OG boat, and has a top speed of 63.25 miles per hour, which is pretty quick breaking into that 60 mile per hour range. It's not bad, but again, just like the Sun Trap, both of these are pretty generic looking boats. Next up onto number seven, we have the Shih Tzu Squalo. So this one has a price of just under 200,000 and a top speed of 65.75 miles per hour, which is pretty quick. Plus I think it's definitely one of the better looking OG boats. Although I do think at almost 200,000, it's just a bit too pricey for an OG boat that doesn't really look all that special. Moving on to number six, we have the Speedophile Sea Shark. So this one has a price of just under 17,000 and a top speed of exactly 67 miles per hour. So it's really the only jet ski in game. It spawns on most beaches around the map for free so there's really no need to buy this one, or even most of the OG boats for that matter, since they readily spawn around certain parts of the map. Continuing to number 5, we have the Pegasi Speeder. So this one released with the Beach Bum update in 2013, and has a price of 325000 and a top speed of 68.25 miles per hour, which is pretty good. Really close to that 70 mile per hour mark. I think it's a really good looking boat with the wood texture and everything it has on it, but again, I do feel over 300,000, it is a bit pricey. Next up, onto number four, we have the Shih Tzu Jet Max. So this one has a price of just under 300,000. It's one of my favorite OG boats in the game in terms of styling, and it's also the second fastest OG boat in the game with a top speed of exactly 70 miles an hour making it the first boat to break into that 70 mile per hour barrier on this list. Moving on to number 3, we have the Nagasaki Weaponized Dinghy. So this one released with the Kaio Perico Heist DLC and has a normal price of 1.85 million and a top speed of 71.5 miles per hour which is pretty quick. That makes it the fastest weaponized boat in the game. Continuing to number two, we have the regular dinghy. So this one has a normal price of about 166,000 and a trade price of 125,000 and a top speed of 71.5 miles per hour, which is the exact same top speed as the weaponized dinghy. However, the weaponized dinghy does weigh a little more, meaning the regular one is slightly quicker for acceleration and handling as well. Plus, that also means that the regular dinghy is the fastest OG boat in the game, and also honestly the best value as well, 166,000 is a steal for a boat that's this quick. And before we move on to number one, I do have an honorable mention here, 
and that is the Gauntlet Hellfire. So everyone says this is the ultimate high performance boat, however Rockstar put it in the muscle car class for some reason. Also it can drive on water, well, sorta. <laughs> Anyways, lastly on to number one, the fastest boat in the entire game for top speed, we have the Shih Tzu Longfin. So this one released with the Gaio Perico Heist update and has a normal price of about 2.1 million and a trade price of just under 1.6 million and a top speed of 122 miles per hour which is just insane. I mean the second fastest boat is at 71 and a half miles an hour. This thing is at 122 miles an hour. I mean it's not even close. The long fin just it's just insanely fast. It, it outperforms just any other boat in the game. I mean, it even rivals some mid-tier supercars for top speed, which is just crazy to think about. Now, yes, I know it's expensive, but, I mean, the speed is just incredible. Now, on the other hand, a lot of players do argue that boats in general are useless in GTA Online, and they do have a point, to a some extent, since we have planes and helicopters that can land on water when it comes to missions out at sea, but let's be honest, most of the vehicles and items we own in GTA are just for fun and not because we use every single one for a certain purpose. So if you just want to add a fun and fast boat to your collection, the long fin is a great one, but obviously it's very expensive as I stated earlier. And of course it's a Pegasus vehicle with no customization. Now a little tip, and this applies to most boats, if you want to spawn in different colors for the boat, just keep calling it in from Pegasus over and over until it spawns in the color that you want, and that's how you're able to change the color of the boat, sort of. But anyways guys, there you have it. Those are the top 10 fastest boats in terms of top speed in GTA Online for 2023. Definitely let me know what other top 10 videos you guys would like to see me do down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.